Hiya, fishy folks, and happy Michael's Fish Room Vlog Day. I don't know what day you're going to see this, so I don't want to say happy water change Wednesday or whatever, and then have it come out on another day. So, anywho, got some new stuff going on in the fish room for the New Year's. Um, by now, you've probably already seen the new strain of guppies I'm working on, and we got some other stuff going on. So, grab a beverage and a snack, and uh, go ahead and obliterate the subscription button boop the notification bell in case you didn't see that boop the notification bell and uh grab a seat and i'll be right back what should you do now all right fishy folks one thing i've been working on are lids for the fish room i have a humidity problem in the basement since i uh put the fan in down there um it seems to be blowing the humidity to the rest of the basement and it's causing an issue we don't want issues so um, I have a dehumidifier running on the other side of the basement, but that thing is an electric hog So I don't really want to leave that thing running too long uh, Plus I had a leak from a kitchen uh, From the kitchen the ice maker line sprung a leak so I had to fix that but um, One of the things I have to do is contain the humidity in the tanks with lids the only problem is uh, So I cut I got this twin wall uh, polycarbonate it uh, sheets they're 35 bucks at Home Depot I think they're eight feet by two feet um, and I got this idea from Greg Jones many many a youtuber has done this but I happened to see Greg Jones's video and that's where I got the idea I'll put a link somewhere here for you guys um, and so I decided to see how many lids I could make out of one sheet and so I made one two three four five six seven eight eight lids out of one sheet so what's that less than eight dollars about seven dollars a sheet seven dollars a, a lid right easy peasy now i have 55 tanks so i want i still wanted an easy way to feed so i left this gap here but i'm not sure i like the gap which is why i haven't made any more lids not sure this is going to work for me so the other option was be to cut two pieces and create some sort of hinge or something. So I got to do some more thinking. I know some people make a hole, but then you got to tape because there are these channels in here. Then you got to tape those up or you get food stuck in there. Um, in addition, because I'm not anal retentive when it comes to or OCD, I should say, when it comes to designing and building, not everything is in the same place in every tank. As an example, I have some of these filters with an airline going like that. I have um, some of these filters, you know, this. So not everything's the same. So I can't make one lid for every tank. Um, in addition, even though all these are 20 highs, there are some differences in width of 20 highs. And then we got the tens up top, right? So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm trying to still be able to feed with one hand because if I have to use two hands, that's just gonna be a pain in the butt. Really a ginormous pain in the butt. Anywho, what else is going on in the fish room? We got the new lids. Oh, uh, Pleco food. I bought French style green beans from ShopRite. I don't know if you have a ShopRite by you, but they're doing their can-can sale. They only had no salt added. I don't really care if it has salt or not. Uh, if it has salt, it definitely will help with guppies in the tank. If it doesn't have salt, I don't think it's going to hurt anything. But anyway, 12 cans, 35 cents a can. So basically for 35 cents a day, I can feed all my plecos, which isn't too bad. Uh, I do feed plecos at least five days a week. I also do some cucumber. If I have other vegetables, I try to feed them. Yes, the fish room is a disaster. I haven't really cleaned it up. I did get this uh, mic stand. And I got a really nice mic for Christmas from Santa. So the next live stream I do, which I don't know when that will be, you'll hear me even clearer than normal. A couple other things we got to figure out in the fish room. Um, well, I have to drill that tank and I have to put a 10 gallon tank there. Um, I do, the first thing I want to do is like I've said before, is move all the mutts. You can see we have plenty of mutt babies in here and plenty of mutt babies in here and plenty of mutts in here, but we need more. We need more mutts. Um, so as I've said, the plan is probably gonna be to make these two mutt tanks. These have yellow cobras in them, but I'm not happy with the way they're turning out, so I need more stock. This had some blue guppies in it that were essentially mutts, um, so 
these five tanks are going to be mutts. I have to move. Um, I thought these were mutts, but I'm pretty sure they are now uh, red cobras. But it looks like I added a uh, glass belly guppy, so I gotta I gotta pull that glass belly guppy out and then move these over to the red cobra colony. Um, but these will go into the mutt tanks. These blues that I I let. I got jacked up. I let get jacked up. Those are the new uh, the new strain I'm trying to breed. And uh, then over here by the fan, I thought this fish tank was empty. I thought I cut everything out of it. Apparently I didn't because the other day I saw at least one mama and one baby in there. Oh, there's somebody swimming there. So uh, <laughs> I started feeding the tank again, which is good. Do I have water going to it? No, I don't even have water going to it. So, uh, yeah, that's that. So that's what I gotta do. I'll have a couple more empty tanks. Let's take a look at the super red bristlenose baby eating. They are so freaking adorable, and there is a lot of them. Let's see, in this picture I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. There's at least 30 in this picture and that's not even looking. There's some more on the sponge. There's some more back on the, uh, on the overflow. So uh, I pulled out what appear to be Shelly's from this tank and I put them in here. And uh, to be honest, I forgot to feed this tank today. I didn't feed it anything for the Plecos cause there's still just a bit of cucumber left over but I do have to feed some some food for the Shellys. I think they're Shellys. That's what people said. I don't know anything about them. If you guys know what they are, let me know. I'd be happy for you to tell me. Uh, there's Indy, my Jack Russell Terrier. There's my dirty floor. I've been working down here a lot, not cleaning, but doing some stuff. There's Chewy. We love Chewy. Uh, what else do we have to do down here? Everything else is breeding quite well. I'm quite happy with it. Uh, these are the half black red delta females um, that you know and they drop some fry and I'm just letting these guys grow up until I see them develop into males and then I'll move them to the male tank. Uh, what else what else what else what else? I think that's about it. All right guys I'm gonna go do some work check out what we have and I will be back with a final update. All right, fishy folks, it is actually now water change Wednesday and I have finished doing what I want to do uh, for this video. I do still have to clean up the fishing, which if you watch any of my videos, you know, probably is never going to happen. But I moved most of the blue guppies into this mutt tank. I moved some of the um, American Koi guppy mutts into this tank with the yellows, what was left of the yellows. And I moved a couple into here, which was uh, mostly pond guppies from a subscriber of mine. So now we have one, two, three, four, five tanks of mutts. Um, what else did I do? Uh, I did empty this tank and uh, see that big line of pothos. Uh, there's two strands from that tank. One goes down all the way like you can see a leaf through the tank right there. Goes all the way down to about that tank with half water. And then all the way over here it goes down to uh, about that tank with the aquarium co-op sticker on it. And that's Pothos I put. That was one of the first tanks uh, I put. I think the top row of 10s and a couple of these 20s was the first row that I made. As a matter of fact, if you look at this tank, this was one of the first tanks I drilled. Not only is that hole way off center, but it's like too high. It was, it was, it's just in a bad place, but I'm not, I'll make it work. Let's put it that way. Uh, what else did I do? Oh, I added some water lines. I changed some water lines around to make them a little bit better. Um, planning when I make my tops, like I, I replaced this line and I added extra uh, I may drill it through here. I really want to see if I put tops on and I, I don't know what that is, that's gross. 
Here's my dilemma. If I put tops on and I leave it like this, is that going to contain enough humidity to make a difference? Do I really need a top that goes all the way and then I have to open it when I feed, which I really don't want to do, especially on those up there. It's, it's just going to be a ginormous pain in the hiney. So that's kind of what I'm figuring. That's why I haven't made any more tops. I think I'm going to make a couple of tops for uh, the tens and see how feeding goes um, and go from there. So currently I have this tank that's empty, this tank that's empty, and that tank in the end that is empty. This tank will be empty in a, uh, maybe later today. Let me scooch over here. So right now in this tank, there might be some uh, guppy fry left and there's a uh, Jibiceps Pleco in here. I think I'm gonna try to put him in either Chewy's tank or the Oscar tank to help clean up. Oh, there he is. See him with his head actually out of the water? Yeah, that's him. But I think he's gonna be big enough and tough enough to handle any of the abuse that the Oscars can give him. I'm not so sure about Chewy. I'm kind of concerned. I don't know what I'm going to do there. I don't want to put a common pleco in there because eventually he'll get too big. Um, what else did I do? I think that's all I really did. Moving some guppies around. I still have some tanks to drill, which I don't know if I'm going to do. I'm feeling kind of lazy today. Um, and I have to pre prepare for my trip. When you see this video, uh, I think it's going to be Fry Fry Friday. So... All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com. Check out, I don't know, supercichlids.com, kingandqueencichlids.com. Uh, check out Aquarium Adventures on YouTube. I don't know. Those are all the guys I really, I'm kind of really friendly with, so. Yeah. All right, that's it. I'm out. All right, fishy folks. Ah! I'm fine. Ah! Ah! Just a little hairball. <laughs>